Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of valve weights. We're going to take a look at the difference between a hollow stem stainless valve and a solid piece titanium valve. Both valves, again, are the same length, same head diameter, and same typical design on both the, uh, both the stainless and the titanium. Let's throw these guys on the scale and take a look to see how much we actually lose on each valve. So starting off with the hollow stem stainless, we're at 123.6 grams. And then let's look at the titanium solid valve. Uh, this one comes in at 82.8 grams. So we're still quite a bit away on difference here. If you do the math, we're at 33% less weight still on the titanium valve compared to the hollow stem stainless valve. Still quite a bit of a difference. On the first video that we did on part one, we got almost 40% on the solid stainless valve compared to the solid titanium. Now we're getting a little bit closer at 33%, but we're still quite a bit of difference away. The stainless hollow stem valve is a great alternative if you're in that type of series where that class really doesn't permit you to actually run titanium. Great, great alternative. Most guys in a circle track application, normally Asprey drag race application, have been going to the hollow stem stainless. Great alternative. You're going to pick up another 200, 300, maybe 400 more RPM on the engine just switching valves out. Because if you really look at the difference in, uh, in the solid stainless compared to hollow stem stainless, you usually get about a 15 to 20 percent. So that's quite a bit of a difference on both of them. Titanium is still uh, a great alternative if you're looking for something really, really light. Again, cost is not a factor, and you're looking for that edge. Obviously, titanium is still the best way to go. So that's the differences, guys, between both the stainless on the hollow stem and then the solid on the titanium. Like and share our video. If you got any comments, please leave them there. And thanks for watching.